Hello and welcome to California Geology. I am Dr. Robert Lopez, your instructor for this course, a three-unit lecture course on, in a physical science on California geology. And what I want to do today is go over the syllabus. In, uh, our, well, in fact, we're using two books, uh, California Geology by Deborah Hardin, uh, second edition, and then uh, Assembling California by John McPhee. In fact, I have a little picture of that one over here. And uh, a bit later in the video, I show you the California geology book. The California geology textbook is the more important book. That's the one that's going to, we're going to really focus on for this course. And in fact, if you don't have your book yet, you know, it is available at the bookstore, but if you don't have it yet or, or are waiting on your order, I, I have provided the first five chapters of the textbook on the angel site. Now, um, you know, we can kind of go through the course themes. It's, it's presented kind of a, a couple of different parts. First, I go through kind of the physical aspects, plate tectonics, origin of magma, minerals, sedimentary rocks, igneous rocks, metamorphic rocks. We, we cover all that. And, and, and then the latter parts of the, of the course cover uh, provinces of California, like the Sierra Nevada province, the coast ranges, uh, um, the Modoc Plateau, Cascade Volcanoes, uh, um, the Transverse Ranges is another one that I do. So we, we will take it in topics as we go along there. I mentioned this course management system, ANGEL, right? So uh, we'll be using the ANGEL system. And on the system, uh, you'll, you'll log in through West Valley College and you'll use your, your, your student ID plus your six digit birthday. And most of you have already signed in. If you haven't, you'll, you'll see how it's pretty easy to do. Once you find, uh, you'll, you'll see the course, you'll log, you'll click in and, and you can find the syllabus on there and you'll find, uh, the lessons tab at the top. When you click on that lesson tab, lessons tab, you'll see the assignments populated in there. So because this is a summer course, so we're doing it, uh, uh in a compact style. I, I kind of ha have the due dates a little bit differently than I would in a normal semester, right? So one thing I, I, I will emphasize is you're going to spend some time on this course, 13 to 14 hours per week. Uh, again, it's, it's compact will be done in six weeks. Uh, we're going to have four exams. And what I've done, I note that I have the, already the exam dates on here. So these are the closing dates, and they'll close at 11.55 p.m. Uh, on those dates, right? So you'll just before midnight. Uh, and I will have them open for about four days before the, the due dates for those particular exams. One of the things about exams is uh, you can only take them one time and they're timed. We will have, each topic will have online quizzes, these angel quizzes. And these I don't time. I don't, I don't time these and I allow you to take them multiple times here, right? So now I always take the best score uh, of, of those quizzes. So you want to make sure you do those. You know, the, the more exposure they have, uh, you'll pick it up, you know, especially after you read it and you'll come around it, you'll recognize the material as you go along there, right? Uh, what I'm doing now, this, this syllabus that we're reading here, there's a quiz that's due June 15th on Wednesday at just before midnight, right? And it's based on the readings in this uh, syllabus quiz, quiz plus uh, uh, this video lecture that I'm doing right now because later on I talk about some of the minerals and rocks of California here, right? And then in terms of homework, you know, we're going to have everything due on Saturday nights. And so they're going to be weekly. So whatever is presented that week, remember, we're, we're really meet Monday through Thursday. And uh, uh, those days, uh, uh, whatever we do that week will be due on that Saturday. And, um, and so I kind of broke out the materials here to, to kind of think about us for week one. Uh, we're going to do plate tectonics and min minerals in the rock cycle. That'll be due on Saturday, June, June 18th. For week two, uh, igneous rocks, volcanoes, California young volcanoes, that'll be due Saturday, June 25th. And so you see how it's going to go here, right? So it, it's, the course sometimes seems a little top-heavy because in the first couple of weeks, we're looking at all the, the background material for geology, like plate tectonics, minerals, rocks. Uh, uh, so... It can get kind of overwhelming, so I've tried to stretch those out a little bit. So you'll see that some of this material is presented in the in in preceding weeks, but I have it due on on the following Saturday there. Now, um, besides reading assignments, angel quizzes, exams, we're going to have some discussion forms, right? Some class participation, and and these are worth points. You don't want to miss those because uh, they're going to add up over time. 
right? In fact, you can see here, they're, they add up to about 300 points. So you want to make sure you get those done. So this is the approximate grading scale. So you can take a look at that. Uh, again, you're going to spend some time on this course, right? Uh, uh, again, we're meeting for a short period of time. And then I recommend going to uh, West Valley College's e-learning homepage, right? You can follow this uh, uh, link here and you'll, you can watch the first two videos. And it's really students talking about taking online courses and discussing how it's a commitment and how, uh, uh, how much time they have to put into it. Now, um, a good way to succeed in this course is by logging into our Angel course page every day, right? And, uh, and especially for the summer course, I do it two or three times a day because I, I have these video lectures on there uh, that are anywhere from eight to 15 minutes at a time. And you, you, you can kind of watch them throughout the period. You know, wake up in the morning, get your coffee, maybe watch one in the morning, take some notes on them, uh, uh, and you'll, you'll feel that much farther ahead there, right? Note that I do have a field trip for this course. It's not mandatory. Uh, it is an extra credit field trip. I'm also teaching a, a physical geology class this summer, so, so I'm, offer, I'm opening up, uh, up the, the field trip for the, to them as well. So um, hopefully I'll get some people out there because the eastern Sierra Nevada is a pretty spectacular place. I'll have more information on this in the next couple of weeks. So that's um, July 8th, 9th, and 10th. Yeah. So the last day to drop the course is July 19th, right? And uh, that's, uh, um, uh, I think that's a Tuesday, right? And then uh, here I have the tentative schedule, right? And so note that we're doing plate tectonics, minerals, igneous rocks the first week, but only these, these uh, three uh, plate tectonics and minerals are due on the, the 18th, that Saturday, right? So you can see I'm kind of spreading them out a little bit because of this compact schedule. Note that I, I do have the course final here on the 22nd, but I'm going to leave it open till the 23rd, right, which is Saturday. So if we go back here to my uh, um, exam schedule, note that I'm leaving it open till July 23rd. Uh, I uh, legally, I guess, or, or, or formally, the course ends on the 22nd, but I'll, I'll, I probably won't turn in grades till um, Saturday night or Sunday morning on uh, of that weekend, right? So I'll give you can have a little bit extra time if you're feeling like you you need to. Uh, get all the material done because remember not only is um, uh, the exam due on the 23rd but also note that we have um, these two assignments due on the 23rd as well earthquakes in the San Andreas Fault so hopefully you want to get these done earlier in the week uh, so you can just concentrate on taking the exam and and, and note that the exam uh, the final exam is really gonna be on these four topics right here as I was mentioning earlier California geology is going to be broken out into the physical process, processes and eventually we'll get to, to um, the, the processes that involve uh, the different provinces of California. So you'll see that each chapter in this book is going to be broken down into, um, into a specific geo, what we call it, we call it a geomorphic province. And that just means that uh, each one of these provinces is outlined by some geologic feature, whether it's a, um, uh, whether it's a fault line, uh, a, a, a series of rock types, right? We're not going to be able to get to all of these provinces in this, in this course because um, we just won't have time. I mean, there, there's quite a bit of detail to them. And, and also, we're going to be spending about three to four, well, actually, about four weeks uh, on, on background material just to understand the geology of California. We need to understand the processes uh, uh, of geology, you know, uh, origin of magma, plate tectonics, sedimentation, metamorphic rocks, and identification of minerals, right? Uh, but we will get through a number of these. Um, one thing I want to do before I, I end this, uh, our little introductory talk here, is I want to just mention that California has um, a state mineral, there's a state gem, uh, a state fossil, and the cat and the state rock so you probably know some of these right so let's um uh, let me let me show you the first one which is pretty cool the first one we'll do the the california state rock and i have the state rock right here this rock is called serpentinite serpentinite is actually a metamorphic rock and uh, has an unusual origin it comes from the the ocean from the deep oceanic crust uh actually rock from the seafloor somehow 
is now here in California and makes our state rock. So uh, the tectonics, the origin of this rock is really uh, 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 quite amazing. It's a green rock. Sometimes it has this mottled color like you see here. Um, slippery. Um, in fact, uh, recent studies have shown that this rock occurs deep within the San Andreas Fault Zone and may be a reason why we see a, a, a motion on the fault called a, a creep motion. So anyhow, um, uh, serpentinite, California state rock, rock, metamorphic rock. Then um, we also have a state fossil. And so the state fossil is right back over here. My friend uh, Smilodon. So Smilodon is a, uh, a saber-toothed cat and uh, Cal uh, uh, Smilodon californicus is a, is a full genus and species. But uh, this animal uh, uh, was around walking here in California. Um, uh, as little as about 11,000 years ago, right? And so uh, quite an amazing creature. So uh, California State Fossil, Smilodon. And then we'll put this guy back over here. And then our, our state mineral, well, in fact, our state mineral is gold, right? And I have a little bit of gold here, or what we call it is gold ore. And, and there's little, little gold seams in here. We'll put it down in here. Maybe you can see the little gold in there. And... Um, uh, I don't have a really nice big piece of it, but if we zoom in a little bit on this, you might be able to see some of that gold in there. So there's a gold, California. Uh, so when we do the Sierra Nevada, we'll, um, there's, a, there's a nice expression of it right in there. Um, we'll talk quite a bit of the, about the origin of gold and how it got into these quartz veins, right? And that's one of the places where we find them. And we'll talk about the difference between plaster mining, which is uh, uh, panning, and then the, the load mining, which is actually going down and getting this hard rock. So you have to go underground. And then finally, the last mineral, which is pretty interesting, is um, well, actually the last um, part of California here that I want to discuss is the state gem. And the state gem is called benitoite. And it's uh, quite precious. It's a barium titanium silicate. And um, uh, if you look on eBay and look for benitoite, it ranges in a variety of prices. It can be quite expensive. Um, uh, found that, in fact, it's found in several places around the world, but only in California does it form nice gem quality crystals, right? What I'd like to do is see if I can turn down the lights a little bit here, because Benitoite has an unusual uh, uh, fluorescence. Under shortwave um, uh, light, let's turn off the big light here, it's going to give a, an unusual uh, 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 fluorescence, where basically the black light's going to excite the mineral and so in this in the, the the wavelengths are allowing an emission of light here. So benitoite is quite unusual. In fact, one way to find benitoite, uh, if you're hiking around the coast ranges looking for sources of benitoite, what you'll do is you often prospectors take one of these black lights with them, going around in the dark and seeing what they find. And um, who knows what you'll find? But benitoite, uh, California state gem. So just tend to summarize what we what we have here. We have the the state mineral, which is our gold, uh, the benitoite, which is a state gem, uh, uh, Smilodon californicus, which is our state fossil, and then uh, serpentinite, which is our our state rock. So there you go. Um, well, anyhow, again, I'll welcome you to California Geology. Uh, I'll have more of these little online lectures. Um, I'll have a series of them beginning uh, really on Monday for Play Tectonics. Um, and more importantly, don't forget about the, the syllabus quiz, uh, which will deal on reading that syllabus, plus knowing the state fossil, the state rock, state gem, and the state mineral. Anyhow, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.